I changed the um, lights back on because it was too dark without it, I realized. Anyways, <laughs> what's up guys, Steel Chair Beats. D new video. It's been a while since we kind of done like a face to face. So like, what's up guys? I know, hope you guys been liking the beats and everything. I've been trying to change it up. I'm kind of like, you guys can probably tell I'm going in like different routes, not really like doing little Tekka and like Playboy Cardi and like, you know, melodic beats anymore. Kind of pick my lane. I like sampling. Love making uh, cool melodies. I mean, I'm not saying melodic beats are not cool and stuff. It's just not the route for me. So, you know, we're doing some Mino stuff, doing some Baby Keem stuff, a lot of ambient stuff. So, real instrument stuff. So, that's kind of what the wave's been for me. So, that's what's been going on. Anyways, uh, as the start of the video, you probably saw that I got a drum machine. Right here. The MPD 218 by Kai. The best out there. Um, you know, they started the whole game, man. They started, like, everything, you know, with the uh, hip-hop, you know. That's how everyone started, sampling things, because no one really had VSTs and stuff, you know. It was all just real music and, like, analog and shit. So, what I decided to do is, like, hey, I want to go back to the roots. I love sampling, and I'm gonna be using this a lot. And, um, when I actually get live streaming done, I'm gonna get, like, a camera so you guys can see me sample things and stuff. But it's my first time ever using a drum machine. So it's probably going to be like, I, I don't know. I'm probably going to make like, pull of G beats. No, I'm not. But we're going to see what happens though. So that's what's kind of like the goal of today. Um, so yeah, let's get started with the review, even though I haven't used it. So first impressions, not really review. So let's, let's, let's do that. I don't really know if this is the best angle for this. Probably not, but like, it's just kind of, I don't know. I don't have a tripod yet. I'm trying to get a tripod. Um, anyways, back to it. Here it is, uh, Guitar Center. Got it from Guitar Center today. Um, and this video is pretty much just showing my first impressions. In case if any of you beat makers wanna get one of these, you producers out there. So, opening right up guys. It's just star styrofoam. Those big blocks of white things. Not bubble wrap though. I would mess with some bubble wrap, I'm not gonna lie. Bubble wrap's insane. But yeah, here it is right here. It's, you know, it's not too much packaging, I like that. Sometimes people overcomplicate stuff, you know, you'd be trying to like order milk from Amazon and they just put like five boxes over it and then it just spoils your milk. And you don't like that because no one likes to spoil milk at any cost. Honestly, I tried to spoil milk when I was like, I don't know, I was really young and because I think I like let chocolate milk out and dude, it was so chunky. And ever since then, I've never had chocolate milk. Sorry, my phone hit the good old low battery because it goes down like really fast. Anyways. Take the start from off. Sorry I didn't get to do the ASMR. And, you know, you guys love that stuff. This is it. This is the uh, Akai. So let's get a different angle. All right, boys. So this is it. Um, this is the Akai. It's really nice, sleek. Has some nice, nice slick design right here. You already know. And you got 16 pads. So, you know, you can get all your pads going. And over here, we got what it looks like. I don't really know what these mean because I have not used a machine before so this is first time for everyone right um so yeah i'm gonna get it set up and then we're gonna start playing around with it and uh we'll go from there okay so here's the rundown i'm not gonna download all this software right now because i kind of just want to get into the beat so i'm just gonna use serato for now but what you can do if you guys are really interested in this you can go ahead and download the akai software which is right there and you can kind of register all your pads like how you want it you can download their sounds too it comes with like all these Akai different stuff and you can just like register your product and everything and I just did all that and um, Plug this guy in we got the pads working and stuff. So about to go cook up on that Also, this does come with Ableton live um, So if you guys want to pick one up and if you want Ableton 2 it comes with it So go ahead. I'm an FL studio user, but hey Ableton's great. So do what you want to and this is the pad right here. This is everything we got. I'm about to show you guys a nice little cinematic shot and a little bit of the whole Akai. So let's do it. Okay, so I got everything kind of set up. Got all the pads working. Well, I'm kind of using it just like as a MIDI right now because uh, the editor software that I'm trying to download is not working with my newest Mac. So I think they have a new software, so um, I requested it. I gotta wait for it to come. I, I don't know what's happening. I'll let you guys know uh, tomorrow, or like a little update. But I'm using it as a MIDI right now. I'm using a Serato sample. And I got this little sample, so I'm just gonna cook it up really fast. I have this like, little drum loop. 
that's made. Um, just a little simple one, and we're just gonna kind of lay down a little uh, MIDI. So uh, let's do it. Um, all right, um, let's get it. So we're just gonna do that. And then we're gonna do that, and then let's go. Man, that's um, what kind of we got? I just kind of did this. But yeah, that beat will probably be up soon. I'm gonna change it a lot. I think I kind of want to loop this. I like that one a lot, so I think I might just loop that and like pitch it up and make it sound kind of like that Slaughter Song celebration, like yeah, something like that. So. Anyways, this was the MPD 218. I'm gonna make a follow-up video soon, kind of like a review over it after like I kind of use it for a while. But tomorrow I'm gonna download the editing software and um, kind of get better at sampling because this is kind of probably bad. <laughs> Am I pitch it down? I don't really know, but like, I think it's a little bit too fast uh, what I made. I just like. I don't know. Probably turn down the deep uh, BPM and stuff. But I want to play around with this. I want to try and load it with drum sounds so I can actually use it as a drum machine. And I'll kind of like teach you guys how to do that in another video. Um, but this is pretty much what it was, you know. Um, really f quick breakdown of what I know really fast here. Okay, so this is everything that I found ab out about it on my own without like having to like watch things and stuff. I probably will go watch some reviews. I suggest you guys do too if you really want to actually buy one of these because they're kind of expensive, like not too much, um, but you can get one. I got this one for a hundred, uh, not too bad. But anyways, over here. So uh, what I found out is if you press this, it may pretty much makes everything the same velocity. So it's not velocity sensitive. So I used to keep that on for samples. And um, over here, hold this down. You can try and program the drums like this, which I was trying to do. But it just wasn't really working. Um, I think you actually need the software to do that to program your drums. And then uh, over here, no repeat. So you know you press one, in, and then it just repeats. But like not really with the sample because it's a sample, not like a kick. You know you can pretty much make it so your drums loop. And then pro uh proj yeah I just told you guys about that. Don't know about that one yet, and I don't know about that one. I'm about to figure all that out hopefully tonight. And over here these should. Right here, you can kind of change your pads, so press this, it pay, plays different ones. So, I can have many chops. Um, so, I'll probably end up doing that with this sample. And then, over here, it should change the volumes of the pads, I think. I don't really know. Pads are great. Uh, they're perfect. I love them. Uh, I love... Everything about this is really good. Um, I'm just trying to figure out with the software and how to program drums. I'm going to make a complete review after I, like, I spend a lot of time with this. And I'll post that up. But, I mean, that's pretty much my first impressions. It's a really good design. Um, if you guys really want, like, to sample things or just kind of, like, play around with drums, make your own drums, kind of, like, you know, do them manually, then this is a great purchase. 
I love this one because it's not too much money. It has a good design. It's pretty much all I really need because I'm not really like super serious about sampling, but when I want to, I can just use this. Um, so it's great. I really suggest it. Um, you know, get that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna make another video on it very soon and kind of just like review the whole thing like after a month after using this. But tonight I'm probably gonna figure out more things how to use it. I don't really know what to do that much. Uh, I'm kind of literally just like using it like my MIDI keyboard over there. Um, but it's really nice. Um, I suggest you guys definitely go look at it if you're like wanting to get one of those things. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys want more videos like this, let me know. Uh, the beat should be uploading soon today too. I'm going to edit this video and I'm going to get going on that, finish that beat. So thank you guys so much for everything, all the support. It's been crazy. Thank you so much and supporting my new beats and all that stuff. Because, you know, I'm like kind of going off the path of no more melodic beats. So thank you for sticking with that journey. I want to learn the piano. I want to learn how to sample things, you know. And, uh, yeah, post some great beats. So I'm going to learn the Zakai tonight and uh, hopefully get the knack of it. Sorry, my extension cord almost fell. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm going to go do this and I'll catch you guys the next beat, the next in-face video, hopefully more coming soon. I'm going to get a camera soon, and I'm going to get, like, a, a lighting so everything's good, and, like, a microphone, too, so it's not this bad. Right now, I'm using my phone, uh, but I got a camera coming in, so, yeah, it's going to be great. Anyways, have a great day, guys, and thank you guys for everything.